These sleeping giants are the work of the artist duo Ella and Peter. Their snoozing and exhausted characters can be found on the sides of buildings and garage doors in and around Saint-Étienne in central France. Their art makes a statement about the underprivileged members of society, like refugees, the homeless or the elderly, who are often neglected or even forgotten. For many of these projects, the artists receive sponsorship, and it's enough to be able to live from their art. Ella and Peter work out of their studio in Saint-Étienne. They are a couple both personally and professionally, with no clear division of labor in their work. I think it's uh, our point of view of the society now. Maybe people are a little bit fed up of their condition because they feel, uh, I don't know to say, coincé. Stuck. Stuck in their condition, maybe something like that. So it's a kind of metaphor of that. Saint-Étienne was once a boom town for coal production. But the last of the mines closed down in the early 1970s, and since then the town has struggled to find a new industry to sustain it as well as its residents. Ella and Peter's murals reflect this reality in almost every corner of the city. Back in their studio, the artists prepare their subjects on paper. They then paste them on a wall or on the side of a building. For the larger murals, they use paint, the themes depend on what inspires them or the size of the space. We just love to draw, so every day, everywhere it's a good... Uh, In, inside or outside. outdoor, we don't care, even, we just need to paint. They never ask the authorities for permission to put up one of their drawings. Public reaction to their work is mixed, with some people viewing it as vandalism of a public space. We just need to do that. If people think it's vandalism, that's their problem, so they have to call the police. The scale of their drawings varies from poster size to massive murals. And they don't limit themselves to Saint-Étienne. From Norway and Eastern Europe to Canada and Japan, Ella and Peter travel to where their next project will take them. One of their most challenging works to date was painted on an abandoned dam outside Saint-Étienne. So we heard about this dam uh, from somebody who tell us maybe there is an abandoned dam uh, over there, but I don't know exactly where it is, so we decided to, to found it because maybe it was interesting. We decided to ask to the council of this small area uh, do you mind if we paint something on your dam? And they say, oh yes, it could be so nice for us to have a drawing from you on this dam. So we say, okay, let's do thinking about that. But finally, it was super expensive. The local council pitched in, and meanwhile, Ella and Peter continue to spread their art and social message all over the world.